Hello, my name is Gregory Lyons, and I'm not even, I didn't, I'm not going to pre-record this or do any fancy editing. I just want to read a blog I've written. I want the awareness out there. This is something that, that infuriates me, and it infuriates me even more that the American people are so passive and docile and, and unquestioning about, about a war that's on. The war is on already. The war is on us every single day. You're all worried about your weapons, your guns, your automatics. Let me just read the blog I've written. I'm, this is really... I'm making a video. That there have been many videos made already. It's about GMOs, genetically modified organisms. Now, it's important to understand that a G, what a GMO is. Genetically modified organisms that are being added to your food randomly. Organisms, you know, like little... Anyway, forget oiling and loading your AK-47s and your AR-15s and polishing your barrels every night and day in anticipation of the war on the corrupt government because the war is already on and we the people are losing. While the debate rages daily about our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms, President Barack Obama, Congress, and the Senate, for the most part, I say for the most part because there have been some senators that have raised questions, for the, but for the most part, they're poisoning us, poisoning us every single day, courtesy of Monsanto and genetically modified organisms, GMOs. GMOs are like slow poison, insidious in the damage they do to the human body. Sterility, tumors, and bizarre genetic horrors are turning up in rapidly growing numbers of American citizens. Correction, in middle and lower class American citizens. GMOs are doing their work because they're in the common brands of food, 80% common brands of food that we buy every day. And aside from lab analysis, we as consumers have no way of knowing because there are no laws requiring food companies to indicate GMOs on their labels or packaging. The Food and Drug Administration is silent on the matter. But where is the average citizen's outrage? This is the food that you eat and feed your children. This is an attack on our everyday lives. Ask yourself one simple question. Why? Why is it necessary to infuse the food we eat to live with genetically modified organisms? Organisms, folks, like we humans are living organisms. Why do most of the countries in the rest of the world ban the use of GMOs? Most of the rest of the world. Why do our United States government agencies entrusted with protecting consumers from being poisoned remain silent on the issues of GMOs in our food? Why did Barack Obama flip in his 2007 election campaign promise to force Monsanto to label food containing GMOs? Why? I can only speculate on the answer and here's my thinking. Obama is a corporate shill bought and paid for by major financial contributors like Monsanto or AIG or Bank America or Mobile Oil or any, any major corporation with a lot of money. Commonly known, I, I refer to them as the power elite. The power elite. Okay? Uh, also, you might know them as the 1% of this country who control a majority of the wealth. The power elite do not like you or me. They're not our friends. They do not invite you or me to their parties, dinners, or trips to exotic places. The privileged rich see we the people as cockroaches. We are breeding at an alarming rate. We are consuming food and air, and they want us dead. The question is, how do you kill so many of us, especially when we have guns? Simple answer, people. Poison our food. GMOs. And the majority of you sheeple American Nazis... Don't even complain. You raise holy hell if the government thugs, a.k.a. DHS, FBI, CIA, local police, sheriffs, try to take your, your guns, your booze, your cigarettes, your flat screen TVs, your cable, your video games, your porn, but not much of a peep about poisoning the food you shovel into your fat grubby mouths and the mouths of your children day after day. Here's the lesson. The war is already on, and they, the power elite, are killing we the people off, slowly but surely. The time is overdue to start demanding accountability from our elected representatives, or just keep eating and don't do shit.
choice is yours, people.